Sturgeon spearing season has officially come to an end this afternoon. And looking at records, some people had great success, while others will look ahead to next year. Lindsay Stanger spoke to some of the spears today. One, two, three, that's the fifth fish. That's cray cray. This year's season has been interesting, to say the least. There wasn't anybody there. I was the, I was the only shack there. You could, yesterday, you could barely see the tips of the spear. You know, we, maybe 10, 12 people, but by the time the afternoon came, it was packed. With some record heat in February and on the flip side, a recent record snowstorm, the ice conditions have been less than ideal. But even still... Things kind of deteriorated with the weather as we went on and you know the the numbers kind of reflected that so what's holding up those numbers oh easily opening weekend it's it's like anything else uh everybody's excited there's a lot of people out there um that's when we have our highest success rate according to the dnr 353 sturgeon came out of lake winnebago the very first day and yesterday the day before the last day only 29. as the season goes on you know people get worn out According to the shanty count, opening day had less efforts than they have seen in years. The opening weekend shanty count was about 50% of what we normally see or what we've, what we've seen in the past. But that hasn't stopped those who are truly determined to get their sturgeon fill. Their son Drake, he's 15, he got his first sturgeon yesterday. There's three of us in a shack, we are spearing upriver. No matter what, the weather, water condition, or apparel. Be proud of whatever they got, even if it's a small one. In Nina, Lindsay Stanger, NBC 26. Today's final numbers finished up with 53 sturgeon caught in Lake Winnebago. It's the end of a season total of 1,120.